see everybody's getting ready for the hurricane. All these windows boarded up. Well, some of these windows boarded up. A lot of people think it's not coming. A lot of people say it's not gonna make it. And this is just hysteria from water makers and plywood makers to sell more product. But the question I have is, how come before the hurricane, these stores price gouge? You got water going for $10 a bottle, $10 a gallon, gas prices go up, people are fighting for gas. People at Walmart fighting for supplies, right? And then the price is so high. But after the storm, after the epidemic, they want to give a nigga shit for free. How does that make sense? Think about it. Didn't, has anybody ever asked themselves why they don't give you the shit for free before the storm? They charge the shit out of you for it before the storm. And then after the storm, talk about they donating. Why the fuck didn't Beyonce give those people in Harvey, Texas water and supplies before motherfucking, well, in Texas, before Harvey tore their shit up? That would have been a good idea. Hey, sit down, pup. You feel me? Prevention is a lot better than cure. Got all these people with tape on their shit. <laughs> Shutters closed. But anyway, all of Miami looking like a ghost town. But I looked at Google and Google says I'm not even in a motherfucking danger zone. You feel me? They're like three levels of evacuation urgency. Red, orange, and yellow. Yellow being the least, red being the highest. I'm not even in yellow, so I guess nobody let these people know. But it's still a, a pretty interesting feeling though. Bud's out here on the damn wall, sleeping on the wall. I guess he don't give a fuck either. Shit. But yeah, man. They charge you sky high prices when you need supplies for the storm. And then after your ass dead and your house is flooded. And after all that chaos and disaster pass through, then they want to donate money as if it could help them. Anybody ever wonder why that is? Shit. Oh yeah, and tune into my channel. Well, since I got a couple of strikes, I can't go live. So tune into my channel for updated, often updated footage of uh, Hurricane Irma. Live reporting from Hurricane Irma. It's your dude Orange Jella. And here goes nothing. Everybody's putting their motorcycles up. What's up, boss? Getting ready for hurricane, huh? Don't want to wet her up. Yeah. But yeah, tune in for live coverage of Hurricane Irma as she unfolds. You can see the wind blowing already. I don't even know why the fuck I'm out here just going to the store. But you can see the wind blowing already, so it's getting closer. And as the hours go on, it will become worse. So there it is. Later. <laughs>